Hey everyone, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. Um, I'm just going to have my supplements. And wait till we've got someone on. I've had to do it at this time. Um, just 12 o'clock our time. And what is it in New Zealand? About 2.15. Um, but if any of my mum's on there, hey Gaylene, she's on here. Um, any of my mums are on, come and press the love button, come and say hi, and also, um, if you want, write a little story, mums, about your journey, and let everyone else know that what I'm about to talk about is really important, and as we all, it's quite hard to, um, properly explain this, because you're probably going to think of this in a negative way when it's not, um, being a busy mum means that the reality of being a busy mum is real, of course, no denying, but the reality of being a busy mum is that our lives aren't perfect. And I've been doing this a long time now. Um, hey Rarity, I've been in the industry 10 years. Um, I am a busy mum of these two monkeys here, one of them sick today. Um, and um, I've been training mums for busy years. And I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make along the journey is uh, looking for this perfect road. And those that look for the perfect road are the ones that give up, are the ones that self-sabotage, are the ones that um, are waiting or go from diet to diet. They're the ones that join gym memberships and never go. They're the ones that buy Isogenics products <laughs> or magic pills and potions. They're the ones that look for the seven-day detoxes to lose a huge amount of weight so fast. And the problem being is that as a busy mum, we are going to fail. But it's how you view that failure is going to be the key to your success. All right, Verity, Gail, Sonia, let me know if you agree. Because failure is a great thing. It really is. Because it's an opportunity for us to learn. All right? Jen, I love your kombucha. I know, right? Got my leader of it. Um, and look, um, failure is a positive. It means that something's happened that has disrupted us. And it's a way of learning. So I always say, and, and you know, press love or you know, let me know your thoughts because I want this to be interactive. When we fail, it's a learning curve. So I always say, look for the cause. All right, because there's always a cause. And generally, what happens as a busy mum? There's stress. There's kids. There's lack of sleep. There's financial. There's husbands. There's all of this. And therefore, if stress keeps coming up, and that seems to be the issue with our emotional eating, then we need to take a step back and deal with our stress. We have to deal with the cause. So therefore, it's not a failure. It's a recognizer. It's recognizing that other things in your life have to be dealt with so that you can take hold of your health and fitness. And also, looking for that cause means that also you have to accept that life isn't perfect and your journey isn't going to be perfect. It might be that today, all you could focus on is your nutrition and hydration. It might be tomorrow is the day that you can do your 24 minute workout or your 12 minute workout. You know, like having sick kids at home totally disrupts your day, all right? I've got Vaya at home right now, got Vaya and Eden, and it means that, you know, my mind's trying to work, I'm trying to, you know, cook food, I'm trying to keep people happy, stop people from coughing. Hey, Jolene, thanks for coming and saying hi. And there's going to be that road. So therefore, I have to put systems in place for days like this. All right. So days like this, I'm going to stick to my basics. I've got my hydration. Um, this morning, I got up and I did my workout at 7 o'clock. Um, you know, our morning was disrupted. And look, in the end, there's always going to, there's never going to be that perfect day. Um, and another thing I see coming about is, you know, thinking that, um, Thinking that you can't do it because you can't afford healthy food. And um, 
and in the end like that's also an excuse because the road of choosing foods is never going to be perfect you're always going to have a birthday you're always going to have a night out you're always going to have um, a situation where it's out of your control so it's not aiming for that perfection it's about doing the best you can all right and if you are always doing the best you can even if it's a, a situation where it is out of your hands it doesn't matter all right because the journey for your weight loss isn't going to be a four week journey the journey for your weight loss isn't going to be an eight eight week journey the journey for your weight loss health and fitness is a lifetime journey because there is no on or off button to ultimate health all right if we sat there eating mcdonald's you know biscuits kfc huge amount of carbs and sugars every day we we would be taking a health away all right so failure is something that is always going to happen but it's how we view that failure it's how we sit there and learn from it which is a positive um, you know, it's how we look for things that can make things easier. Is it, you know, going and doing a big shop on a Sunday so that you're prepared for the day ahead? Is it um, getting into bed early so that you feel better? Because as mums, if we all were happy and if we were all feeling better, so many other things in our life would work. But unfortunately, mums feel the overwhelm of kids, of finance, of, you know, having to fit it all in. And in the end, if you're going to stress about being stressed, you're never going to get anywhere. You know, for some of my mums, I say focus on one thing at a time. Because even for most humans, most humans, not just mums, even if they just focused on their water hydration and stress management they would get results even without the exercise so don't overcomplicate it you know find things that are going to be sustainable around your busy mum life or your busy life find things that are going to make you happy look at failure as a learning curve accept that the road to health and fitness isn't going to be perfect and find something that's going to you know, be a process that's going to give you energy, that's going to make you feel good, all right? If a 40-minute run is going to kill you, don't do it. If a 12-minute exercise routine like our routines is going to um, work better for you and the family and keep you happy, then do that, all right? And that's what it's about. There may be not a one-size-fits-all for everyone. So that's why it's priority. Kia ora, Divinia, Divinia how you going? Um, and that's why if you are going to find a coach, find someone that deals with someone that can help your lifestyle. I deal with busy mums for a living, all right? That's what I love and that's what I do and all my mums are on here as well. Um, and ask questions. Um, and, you know, um, now is an amazing time to start your health and fitness um, before the year end. And, you know, if you want to change your life, you know, you can do it as, as little as a coffee a day. And people search for their health once it's gone. I, would, I will always say, um, you know, what, what would 10 kgs cost to you and keep it off? Um, Gaylene's just put totally agree. I was one of those perfectionists, but now have learned not to be on your program. Um, and Gaylene, I don't, I don't think you're alone. I think majority of humans are trying to be that perfectionist and that's the reason why they fail. And through those small consistencies of life, um, you know, that's how we learn to change and we learn to, you know, create happiness. Weight loss, you know, like this is the whole busy mum movement. For me, it's about creating a happy mum. It's about finding a sustainable approach around a busy mum life. It's about um, education, you know, helping you guys understand food and understand our bodies. Because, you know, in the end, we, we, we make wiser choices when we're educated. So if you're going into a program that hasn't got the education there, why are you doing it? Because you'll just probably not understand it and you'll go back. Hey, Holly. Hey, beautiful. Um... So yeah, um, come and join us on the journey. I'll put a link up. Um, you can um, join our 17th of September program and change your life. Um, and yeah, let's um, 
let's change the world together mums not just me this isn't about me this is about you this is about sharing knowledge this is about doing it collectively as busy mums and you know supporting one another i love my mums i love being in a tribe of mums that totally get it totally understand that a six minute workout right. is like did you hear me totally doable yeah. and uh yeah. acceptable um, because it so, makes us feel good on a busy day um, but then of course obviously we have our longer workouts which are going to burn the fat um, so yeah that's my day I've got uh, monkey one and monkey two at home today monkey two are you monkey two or monkey one Monkey Abe. Uh, monkey Abe. Um, so I'm going to go and keep these busy, but I just thought I'd get on and help you guys move past any thoughts of failure to success and get you the results that you deserve. So I will speak to you soon. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Thanks, Gaylene. Thanks, Holly. Hey, Angela. Oh, we're just leaving now, so make sure you have a listen from the start. I'll speak to you soon.